The seed for the story came from an exercise I did in a class when I was studying film. So, and you know, basically we had to write a scene that happened in a kitchen, that took place in a kitchen, you know, and that scene already had all the ingredients that the story now has, you know, so based on that scene, I actually developed the story gradually in, in time. So, so really, uh, it's not, it's not that, that I said I want to write a movie about this. It was more that I had this idea, this seed, and based on that, I wrote a story that what I felt was compelling to me, and the themes and the topics started to grow out of that. I mean, I'm not going to deny that there is a big uh, gay aspect to the story, you know, because one of the two storylines is the romance between two men. But it's, it's as, as you say, it's basically the story of a fisherman that is married and about to be a father, very much in love with his wife and very excited about being a father, that is also in love with a man that happens to be a painter that has moved to the town. So, so it is, and that is the dilemma. You know, and and uh, and it ends up being a, a love story. You know, I see the film as a love story with big obstacles, big dilemmas, and big choices. You know, in the in the vein of I don't know Romeo and Juliet, if you want to call it. You know, but it just happens to be of a more modern sexuality. I'm not going to deny that I knew that I was writing something that, at least in Peru, which is my country, and that's where we shot the film, is still seen as a taboo. Is still seen with you know, rejection, and not everywhere, but, and, it's, and things are changing, thank God, you know. Um, so yes, I knew that it would create in some pockets of society some kind of controversy. But, uh, but actually, I've also been very surprised, happily surprised, you know, about how people are really excited to see the film and the fact that it's had, it's had all this positive reaction around the world. It's also created a lot of excitement here in Peru, and we, you know, we just showed it for the first time in a film festival last weekend, and we won the audience award here too. So, you know, in Peru, which is what the film has been doing around the world. So, so it's great to see that Peruvians are also open to this story, you know, and even shooting the film in this small town, the reaction. I, I think we underestimated them. You know, we were very, we were scared that they would not understand or would not want us to be there once they found out what the story was about. But, it, you know, there were some comments, but it wasn't really that bad. So it's good. From the first time when we screened the, f the film in San Sebastian in Spain, that was, uh, yeah, in September of 2009. From then, it's been a roller coaster of really great uh, reactions all over the world, you know, and up to now we have probably 12 uh, audience awards. We have like 22 audience, I mean, awards in general, but I think 12 or 14 of them are from audiences, you know, and they are from all over the place and different, I mean, different parts of the world. You know, we were told, I was told many times when people were reading the, the script that it would be a film for a niche. You know, this is going to be a reduced audience. And the film has proven to be quite universal, you know, and we have audience awards in, well, in Sundance in the U.S., in Cartagena, in Miami, in the Netherlands, in Ireland, in Canada, and now in Peru, you know. So it's been, it's been great, actually.